I love Gemini. Mercury went retrograde in Gemini, and but for some reason, this is the slowest Mercury retrograde in Gemini. <laughs> I, I'll tell you again, I love Gemini because I have so much Libra and I also love Aquarius. Um, I have a vibrational frequency of Scorpio. It's all really, you know, that's the truth. But if you kind of just um, don't be so attached and take a person's character in, like you watch TV, you know, you just accept that it's there. You know, you can turn it off if you want, but really don't try to turn me off like in front of my face by saying that reality doesn't exist and then the, the truth wasn't there in front of your face. That's not going to work because you are, in fact, a dangerous person. And now we're back to the fucking the warfare. We went down the rabbit hole. What was I talking about? Mercury retrograde. And this thing coming up with fairway. And how that... It's in my favor. And it's all in my gener my generation's favor as far as the Pluto and Libra. Every, everybody in my generation from, I think it's like eight years or so that the Pluto was in Libra. And I happen to have Sun conjunct, Pluto conjunct Mars like this. And um, I have to do yoga, man. I'm, I'm suffering from Kundalini rising. And I, I just, ref I, I'm a terrible Jupiter in retrograde in Pisces. And I don't, I don't do the things. I, like, like I should have my studio set up, right? It takes a certain focus. You just set up your studio. Set up your hobby studio over there do the yoga in the morning, you know, and for some reason, I just don't, there's something, what, what's, what's stopping me, what is it, because really, it's not doing me good at all, it makes me unhealthy, you know, but imagine the world that, that would allow me to do that, I mean, imagine that if I did that, and people didn't call me crazy, and just wasting my time, and all that stuff, and that they valued it, See, I was wondering if I can interdate myself in the world at any time in this life, maybe, maybe not, see, I didn't come here, some people say, um, how's life treating you? And I go, excuse me? I'm treating life. Thank you. I'm a woman. <laughs> Pass the salt and pepper. Anyway, um, I was talking about mer Mercury retrograde. This is what this is, Hans. <laughs> it's finally, see, I'm an astrologer and I've never seen mer uh, Mercury in, okay, what Mercury in Gemini does, whenever Mercury hits Gemini, it's like, um, it takes only two weeks or even sometimes like less than that or something so uh, that's about it sometimes most of the time it takes like a month and a half you know mercury's here and there sometimes it'll go retrograde and be there for three months and gemini i'm looking at this all my life i've done astrology since i was 13 i'm like why does mercury go just go zip right through gemini you know but now oh man i'm having like the spaghetti dinner <laughs> yes tell me the information is real really let's pump it out let's pump it out pump, 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 pump. and when i'm going out and talking to people women especially they're absorbing it i find out that women can absorb things and they're able to take my emotion better and one of them just turned around and said please take care of yourself and i was like oh, thank you so much it's the best thing you could say to somebody you know because what if they forget anyway um Mercury retrograde in Gemini, and then guess what it does? It's going retrograde. It's going to hit through another sign. It's going to hit because it's so early, and it's going to hit into Taurus, and that trines my Venus. Talk about singing and talking to Diana Johnson and saying, Diana, see, I need nourishment. I am honestly suffering from a chemical imbalance because I was deprived, deprived my food source, and it's a very delicate life I live. I live a delicacy as a life. And I, it stops here with me. It's going to stop with me. This is as far as we're going to get with this civilization busting down the truth and fucking up everything of our, our well-beings. As long as I am on the planet and hooked to Ghana, to the people that know the true language, that is hooked to the fucking owners of this fucking world, that is, I'm sorry, but it's very feminine. Somehow in nature, I will try to explain that it's a feminine god. Anyway, it, it's in nature. God, you're getting so fucking biased and stuff. And you don't even know what we're saying when we say feminine, babes. Inside of us, there is a warrior. It's male core. We have a male core in us. Have you ever heard of the, well, it's 59, you know, it's 50, 
nine it's forty nine fifty percent that you're a male woman you are you you have it in you it goes like this we are I have this fierce warrior in me that that if I didn't look like this and, and, and be able to go, can I cook you something? Um, it wouldn't work. That's the way God makes us. The, the man, he's born with, he has a woman deep inside of him. And his facade is protecting. That's why he has this facade that goes, excuse me. Now, one thing we're not doing is putting up with that right now because you know why? I can simply give you just your fucking ass up right now, bitch, and just tangle you up and excuse me, that's the way we live. <laughs> that's my man. <laughs> that's my Aries. Aries is the first sign in it, and it's the male. The reason why is because we're getting into the um, atom. Ah! A. Aries, Alpha, first, take the R down, fist. If you know the warrior, we are talking about the warrior, we are talking about mankind, we are talking about God's children. And what I recently learned about um, astrology, the obvious, obvious, because, because what, what I had done recently, um, why I need to do yoga, because I'm an electrical being, and fucking God is like, Shanna. You've got some intense thing going on, and this is your life, and check this out, baby, you can do it. And I'm like, woo, is really, is this how it is? I just listened to you, yes, that's it, but you gotta do yoga, you gotta do yoga. Why? It's nothing physical. It's electrical, and it has everything to do with your breathing. Let me get back to, this has fucking gotta be interesting, baby, I need to keep a train here, it's my eating, I need to, you know, the, the mercury retrograde, this is beautiful. I can't judge myself. Don't judge yourself, okay? Don't judge anybody. Um, anyway, getting back to shit, lost it. Something I had to say about something. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Uh, I need people in my life. I need stability for sure. It's not over with the Uranus conjuncting my moon. I mean, not conjuncting. Thank God it's not conjuncting. Oh my God. My friend is going through a conjunction right now. She doesn't have a home. And I saw it. I was like, Joti, guess what? For seven years, you're not, you can probably go to, um, Alabama, you'll probably end up in Brazil. You might come back here and go, what the fuck just happened? I'm like, well, Jeff you've got another. Um, and she loves me like, Shana. I love this little girl. She, uh, you know, so the real connections that I have are so deep because I am an astrologer and I, and I, am, I am trying to, I'm not, not trying to. I'm, I do radiate. I'm this kind of being. It's, it's the 144, babe, and I'm a pillar. 11 and part of the 144 and it's like it's it's not only the part of the warring is just celebrating you celebrate you just ooh, just just shh. like i said i'm connected getting back to what i was trying to say is like i am as long as i'm connected to um i am connected to you have no idea i'm interdimensional and go ahead and try and call me crazy but you know what i've talked to some people that, that think i'm perfectly fine they're like and they're like and and also you know because we are one with the universe there's many transformational um states you know it's all energy and uh, we're flying by music they're like really is it colorful yes <laughs> oh and yeah i need i need um, a pyramid you know a thick one that has like halls that when you when you hum it, it lights up with the certain frequencies at the end there's a water bath house all you do is what you're doing is um, you know you need to clean yourself that's what that is but it's it's so different you have minerals and crystals and there's just it's just different when um the feminine has taken over and gotten back into her rightful position as just how it works you know um as a mathematic equation there is a warrior in here that knows what the fuck needs to be doing, done, which includes, you know, we, we're going to produce life as well as rip it apart, and then we're going to eat a little bit, and what happened? It's okay. What did you, just go outside and build a fence. We'll take care of those initial things. God. Can't seem to handle any emotion or anything. 